Okay, so to create um, this glass morphism effect, it's quite simple. Mm. Um, I always say this first thing you want to do when you want to design is actually break down the design in your head. So I'm going to zoom in a bit. You can see that um, there is like two shapes, three shapes actually, a circle um, and two rounded rectangles, right? So uh, we are going to create all of them. So I'll just do this. I'll just create a new page, like on page two. Then I'll draw one rectangle, just one. And then I'll round, I'll round out the edges by, you know, using the shape tool and just grab one of the edges and, you know, let's just see this is perfect, right? I'm going to make a duplicate of this one. Um, just control D and then I have a second one. So this one is sorted, right? And then we'll create a circle for the other shape. So now we have this three. Right, it's going to get noisy now, but just focus. So the first thing you want to do is you want to add. I'm not going to create the design like the whole background and everything. But even if I have to, um, let's just I want to do everything. Pick a box, rectangular box. And then these three shapes that we have here, let's just reduce their size. You know, like this. And page. Let's bring it to the front. Shift page up. So now we we'll select the first one. Let's look at the previous design. So we'll create a gradient for this. This thing is a gradient actually. It's a fountain feed. So we'll go to that page. We'll give this initial one the one that is going to be our glass. Can I give it like a gray color? Let's try like 20% black. Then select this one here. Give it purple. And then use our G to the shortcut for interactive feed to then go to the fountain. Click on this side for the fountain and then change the color to maybe like purple or something another shape so this something like this and uh, yeah you could tilt it if you if you wanted to have like a bit of angle tilt it or something this is perfect right so if we go back there we'll see it doesn't have an outline so we have to remove the outline and I feel like the edges are too wide so let's reduce it a bit just you know that is 0 0.154 let's do the same thing here Oh, I'll just give it 0.143, it doesn't matter. You select this one, remove the outline. Now, the same outline, the same, sorry, the same um, gradient or fountain fee is what I'm going to apply here. So just drag this. You could do this thing, you could select this one and go to your edit menu and say um, copy properties from B. And then you select all the properties you want to copy. If I want to copy the fill, uh, just the fill and the outline pen. That's, that's the thickness of the outline. So I'll say OK. So I'll copy from here, which means no outline and this gradient field. So it's applied straight up on this one. Another way you can do this is to select this one and right click and drag into this place and release it and then say copy all properties or copy field or copy outline, depending on which one you want to copy. If you say all properties, it's going to copy the field and the outline property. If you say copy field, it's just only going to copy the field. So there we have this. So now we need the glass to be in front. So we'll hold this one and say shift page up and then it comes to the front, right? And now this glass that we created, we need it to be transparent. So we're going to apply transparency by selecting the transparency tool and applying a uniform transparency. Either we'll come to the property bar here and select uniform or we hover on this and we see this thing appear here. So we'll reduce it from here. Uh, 55 is cool. Currently it's cool. It looks cool currently. So it's so okay. Now let's rotate the three of them and rearrange. So grab the three of them by selecting it and then rotate like this, right? Now we can carry this one and put it somewhere here and this one and bring it maybe down here like this. I think that's how it is, right? Uh, yep, that's how it is. Uh, so now you can see that the shapes are actually showing under the what? Under the um the transparent um, glass that we are trying to create. So let's first of all work with creating the blur effect to show. And so we have to select this. Now see, we we need to create a blur where this shape intersects with this other shape and also where this shape, the glass shape intersects with the circle. But to do that, uh, we cannot just create a blur with this one. It's going to affect both everywhere. Right, so we need another copy of this. So I'm going to select this one and press Ctrl C, and then I'll press Ctrl V. Now I've pasted it here, and then I'm going to power clip it into this box. So to do that, I'll just right click and say power clip inside, or you can go to up 
objects and go to power clip and say place inside frame and then you click on the glass and it goes in so right now if i move the glass you notice that there is a shape that has already been power clipped inside right so it is that shape that will power clipped inside that we have to blow so we go inside the shape okay before i do this let's just create the second one so select the circle tool make a copy of it and this time around just go inside the box directly and paste it right like edit the box um this thing power clip and paste and then click you don't need to click finish so select this first shape go to effect then we need to blow it right now so go to blow and use gaussian blow when you use gaussian blow it's going to create a, a slight blow uh let's reduce the blur a bit it feels like it's excessive uh, I think I like this one. So say okay. Select this one too and do the same thing there. Go to effect, blur, and apply Gaussian blur. Same level and say okay and then come out. So now we are out. You'll notice that the problem we are having here, and I think that's probably some of us um the points we got to. The problem we are having here or the challenge is that we can still see the other shape. So we need because this guy is transparent, you can still see this particular box here. So you see, if I move the box away, you can see the blur perfect. So what we need to do is to trim out that area where the box is. So we select the glass cup again, the glass again, and hold shift. Select this one and trim. Good. Do the same thing. Select this one, select the uh, circle, and trim it off. Good. So now you notice that the blood part is inside here while the sharp part is outside, right? So now we've gotten it, and but we need to fine tune our glass. Now the outline of the glass is black. We are not going to be using black. We are going to do something first. We have to increase the outline, or we can leave it the same size. Let's leave it the same size. Or let's say 0.75. And then do Ctrl Shift Q to break it apart. The moment you do that, you notice that the box becomes a bit more transparent since it's broken apart. So you have to zoom in and select it. You select it, we give it a color. Let's give it the color black. But we just don't want to give it color black. Or rather, let's give it color white. Let's give it color white. So giving it color white, you notice that it looks a bit nice from here, right? But we need this other part to be darker, not white. So it will, blue, it will look like it's a gradient of colors. That way, it can actually give us more of the glass feel. So to achieve that, we have to use our, our gradient again. So we press your G and then we go to fountain field. And here is white, so we leave it as white. Let's twist this a bit. And then this part, change this part to black or a dark gray. Not necessarily black, a light gray can do it too. Something like this, and then we're done. So with that, you see, by creating a gradient on the shadow, notice it really looks really really looks like the uh the glass now and uh, if you really want to do more i actually did like twice i actually copied it again ctrl c ctrl v and this time around what i did on it was oh sorry i copied the outline ctrl c ctrl v and this time around what i did on the outline is i i made it this this might not work here but i made it thicker i made it thicker in, in a way and I trimmed off one part of it. If I use this shape, I can trim off half of it like this. I can create a shape and use it to trim off half. So I'll shift, select it, and I don't even know if I'm selecting the right outline. So I'm going to trim it. And then I'm going to have a thicker outline on this side and a lighter one here. So the thicker one now looks like the embossed effect. You make it white. So that's kind of like that's that's kind of like it. And then we have for the for the um, stuff you can use a gray color, so you can now see the glass effect very well. So you can use a darker gray or a lighter gray. I like a lighter gray where you, you hardly see the glass. It's almost blending with the glass. That way, that way it's going to really look like a glass effect. So I use something like um, twenty percent or thirty percent. Thirty percent is actually cool, but thirty percent will give you a little bit of the glass. And then let's use twenty percent. And then we go in there. For me, I created something else to create like a light effect behind the glass. So I, I just use my polyline to draw a random shape here, like this. You know, just a random shape here. You know? 
and then I gave it a white color and removed the outline. And then I did what I still used the blur. So I went to effects and I went to blur and I used Gaussian blur. But this time around, I spread the blur very, very far. So it spreads out a lot, like a lot, somewhere like this. And then what do I do with this? I simply power clip it into the box. So I right click and say power clip inside this box. So now it goes into the box and it stays behind this shape. You can also make it transparent if you feel like it's too, it's too bright. You can apply a little bit of transparency on it and there you have it. Maybe this one should be 30%. Yeah. And uh, that's about it. Move your outline, you can add your other text. Um, glass work is in. And here it is, a glass work is in. Change it to copper keys. Last month. So you could just change your fonts, maybe match. Uh, so you could just maybe match the fonts to um, you know any fonts that you like, and you're practically done with it. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. Uh, and that is the effects, right? Oh, and there's a small shadow here. So if you want to create the shadow, well, it's uh, you just use a circle and draw a very thin, a very thin, um, a very thin, um oval shape on the floor and then give you like black or gray or anything move the outline now to create the to create the um you know, notice in this one it looks faded right to create that faded effect all you have to do is select the circle go to your transparency select fountain transparency and instead of using the linear one change it to radial or elliptical rather that's the word elliptical so it's going to like fade off from all the edges in a round way so have a shadow that looks like this if the, the blackness of the shadow is too much you, you use it to use a gray color or something and there it's done you can see that right so this is our result uh with the effects that we try to create this also sits very well yeah? That is it. That is 